So the SIT report viewers, and we're going to play that graphic out, mentions practically everyone connected to the stampede or the satsang. It blames the organizer squarely. It blames the local administration, even the district magistrate. But, you know, doesn't blame the man who was conducting this satsang. So heads will roll, but the man who headed the satsang in which the stampede took place, his name, strangely, is missing from the SIT report. So who's protecting the Baba? Let's cut across to our political panelists this evening. Charu Pragya, national spokesperson, Bharatiya Janta Party. Uh, Ghansham Tiwari, spokesperson, Samajwadi Party. But uh, before I cut across to our political panelists, Vikram Singh, security expert and former DGP, is also joining us. Mr. Singh, for someone who has governed Uttar Pradesh, do you not find it strange that an SIT report blames practically everyone where the organizers come into question, where the local establishment comes into question, even the DM. But the man who headed the entire congregation is not named. It is extremely surprising and unusual that the man, I would say the bridegroom of the party, is absolved of all the charges. The district magistrate, yes, and I would be very happy if the superintendent of police is also blamed and also held responsible because these two are responsible. Even whether you are there or even if you are on leave, even then you cannot wash your hands of the case. Now coming to the fact, the, the whole organization, the whole tamasha, the whole satsang, the whole congregation was done for the Baba. And if it is done for the Baba, how can the Baba like the DM and the SSP wash his hands of the case? And if the SIT, and I hold these two officers to be very responsible of unimpeachable integrity and professional competence, Ms. Chaitra, the commissioner, and also the Anupam Sage, who is the ADG of the women of the highest integrity and professional competence. But I would have been very happy if they had nailed all the top three dramatists personae, the DM, the SP, and the Baba. Because it is impossible. We are beating around the bush without coming to the point and going round and round in circles without coming to the point. Everything that you have nailed is agreed. But if you do not come to the point and take the central point in the core issue is the Baba. Everything was there because of the Baba. The DM and the SP because of the Baba. The congregation because of the Baba. And to leave the Baba out of it, it's like stale coffee. Everything is there, but the flavor is missing. What can I say? You know, Charu Pragya, one thing which the local administration, of course, leave uh, that aside, but the Uttar Pradesh government is promising that at the back of this SIT report, Heads will roll. Heads will roll, Charu Pragya, but save the head who headed this entire religious congregation. Preeti, good evening. Now, what has happened in Hathras is uh, extremely unfortunate and uh, it's terrible. All of us are feeling equally pained and this pain doesn't increase or decrease depending on anybody's political affiliation. That being said, this has been a case where our Honorable Chief Minister has been on the ground and leading from the front and ensuring that immediately action is taken, immediately cases get registered, and we do our best to understand from where did this entire problem originate. Now, everybody is talking about the Baba. Yes, I understand everybody reached there to listen to him. But at the same time, there was a, another set of people who were a part of the group which went to take permission from the authorities for this particular event. It was a name on that piece of paper which claimed that I take responsibility and I'm the one who's handling this event. So, prima facie, every single investigation or an FIR is going to name that person first. Now, it doesn't mean that other people are off the hook and it doesn't mean that if responsibility later, after the probe is done and the report is out, is fixed to be elsewhere, action will not be taken. I assure you of this. In the last few years, we have ensured that Uttar Pradesh is now known for very good law and order and not the way it used to be run in earlier times. Our uh, chief minister is proud of it. And uh, we're going to ensure that does not change and it has to be taken seriously. If Yogi Ji is taking charge, if, you know, he's already suspended an SDM and a CO, you have to believe that uh, this is not a place where people should be coming to point political fingers only, which has unfortunately become the case. Rahul Gandhi wants to come to Hathras, but he doesn't want to go to Sandesh Kali. Rahul Gandhi wants to go to Manipur, but a few uh, hundred kilometers away, he doesn't want to go to Assam where flood victims are in relief camps. So this selectivism with politics needs to stop. Yes, a terrible incident has happened, but our government is ensuring 
that uh, responsibility will be fixed as soon as possible. Heads will roll and nothing like this should be repeated in the future. That should be our focus. Well, heads will roll, but not the head of the man responsible for it all. Because, uh, you know, Charu Pagya, you talk about selective politics. It's not about Rahul Gandhi, and nor is it about Yogi Adityanath. Yogi Adityanath might have done a commendable job of taking stock of the situation, but if the situation's going to be whitewashed with an SIT report, which you say, uh, so what if it doesn't mention the main culprit, then there is a huge problem, Charu Pragya. Very glaring issue. Because the man in question, leave alone for taking responsibility, wasn't even there for days to even speak up on what really happened and then has come up with a bizarre explanation that this could be a conspiracy of sorts. I'm going to bring in Gancham Tiwari, but before that, I want to bring in Vikram Singh back into this conversation because Vikram Singh, you know, for, uh, you know, uh, what Charu Pragya said, that yes, names are there, but so what if the name of the main culprit here, who is Suraj Pal, a.k.a. Bhole Baba, his name is not there, but action will be taken against him. Sir, you and I both know better, and I'm sure even Charu Pragya knows better, and I'll bring her back into this conversation, that if a name is not mentioned in the SIT, then action will not be taken against that person. It would be the organizers, the sevadars, who are going to be facing the brunt of the law. Absolutely. The justice must not only be done, but must seem to be done. When the chief, I would say the chief architect of the whole controversy and the whole episode is not named and is not mentioned or there is no roadmap to get to him, then the questions are bound to be raised. I would have been very happy now it is almost seven days, a week after this tragedy has happened and nobody seems to be remitting or closing down on the Baba. I really would not uh, like to believe that the Baba is totally oblivious of what has happened or he is indifferent or he is totally innocent. Certainly not. By no stretch of imagination and by implication and by conclusion, Baba is 200% responsible for the whole tragedy, much as they would like to believe that there's a conspiracy. If there's a conspiracy, let the investigators prove it. If the Baba left bef uh, uh, before the tragedy took place, then it has to be proved. But the ground reality is that the Baba was fully aware of the tragedy and perhaps left in a hurry after the incident, not uh, before the incident. He was fully privy to the incident and therefore not to name him, not to mention mm -hmm. him, and not to take account of his uh, complicity in the whole episode, I think would be a miscarriage of justice. 121 are dead in this stampede, the burden of which is also for the Baba to carry, primarily so. But nobody seemingly fixing responsibility. And Ghansham Tiwari, bringing you into this conversation, there seems to be a lot of criticism coming in from the Samajwadi Party on the incident of Hatras, where it seems the Samajwadi Party is blaming everybody else but the Baba. And the reason for that is because he represents one of the key components of your recently acquired vote bank, where the D of the PDA, Dalit. Good evening, Priti, to you, the viewers, and the fellow co-panelists. There are three things which are extremely important in this sensitive case. This sensitive case is a contrast with a bulldozer-led, trigger-happy, often accused of fake counters, fake encounters, leading the country in custodial deaths, strong-armed BJP government led by Yogi Baba himself, where they have not even shown the courage to question this man, forget naming him, where there are 2.5 lakh eyewitnesses who apparently, as the media has shown, had, had heard from, uh, this announcement from the stage that you must collect the, the soil of the footprints of the Baba uh, for your blessings. What is a bigger evidence uh, than this if there are so many eyewitnesses that are saying that the man should be questioned? That the Chief Minister doesn't name, name him, BJP doesn't name him, the Deputy Chief Minister, the whole array of, of leaders and administrative officers at the topmost level do not name him, demonstrate that BJP is, runs a sham rather than a government. This is an example of quackery, nothing else, this SIT report. As far as the, the charge on Samajwadi party of, of uh, being cautious in calling out for straight out arrest, it's a fair charge. The, the, the person has a large following and we would want to see an SIT report that clearly with facts puts it down. This is not uh, on public demand, 121 plus people are dead. But when a chief minister is scared, a trigger happy system is scared, a system that is trigger happy to arrest journalists on tweets of facts, that to beat people to death in, in police custody, to engage in fake encounters, to bulldoze people's houses. They are scared to name him demonstrates 
the quackery of uttar pradesh government and the quackery of this administration led by yogi baba himself there is no absolvement from that and finally when the ambulance is missing the state uh, hospital doesn't have light and adequate facilities doctors nurses the police lacks the intelligence that 2.5 lakh people are there you have created a system which is which will lead to tragedy now is it mr yogi adityanath who has created the system or is it the dm of the district who has created the system that up government okay. has to answer because if it is Sanjay yogi adityanath Adhikar, as i bring in you more tragedy back into this conversation let me ask you this question again multiple times it was asked of uh, akhilesh yadav on the baba and he tried it he said which baba there are two babas in up why wasn't he very clear and he himself has tweeted videos of the same very baba on his timeline then be clear come out with press conference after press conference as a healthy opposition and ask that suraj pal's name be mentioned in this fir the reason again i will say kansham tiwari that you're not following this through because he represents the dalit vote bank which you have recently acquired in the lok sabha elections it is not just dalit vote bank it's a fair criticism if we say that why are we not uh, uh, shooting immediately saying that uh, the man should be arrested we are saying that the man has a large following 2.5 lakh people is not a small number but there is the entire state from the chief minister to deputy chief minister to chief secretary to dgp is involved in an investigation that has 2.5 lakh eyewitnesses if they do not have the courage to name the person to at least point out that this was announced but sir as a healthy here is the responsibility i'm sorry i'm asking you this question again but i'll bring in charu pragya you know just one second uh, miss pragya as a healthy opposition isn't it your duty to name the person you can't transfer the guilt onto the dispensation because they are not doing their job you're not doing your job by naming him you are fair in your criticism i'm only saying that because of the sensitivity of the case unless the government calls our calls out the the sit report clearly right we will be shooting off without the, the details in this matter we will you we know would, that's the sad part ghansham tiwari what details do you want he sat on that satsang you can see his car whiz away he disappeared for days he did not even forget about taking responsibility he did not even come back to apologize of something that had happened on his watch so what details exactly what are we awaiting i'll tell you what the details are it's the fine print of politics which is no, vote bank but it's, it's, sir it's, you and i both know better it's you know, i'm saying a very simple thing priti and in black and white that the eyewitnesses claim that announcements were made from the stage when 2.5 lakh people were packed in a place which was permitted for 80000 people that you must collect footprints of soil or footprints of the baba why is the sit report not calling it out you can definitely i am saying that you can criticize our stance of not being aggressive on uh, right from the beginning to call out for the rest but we are very very focused on uh, ensuring that the sit calls it out and then we will do our job you know that's the sad part that is the sad part the administration is responsible the up government is not doing its job the sit report seems strange but the job of the opposition is also not complete ghansham tiwari because you're not speaking up because you want the sit to speak up you're very vocal about various other issues and once again i say the reason is the fine print in indian politics which comes down to caste and this time it's the dalits and there are a lot of believers still of uh, the self styled godman so therefore why upset a political apple cart which has taken years to stabilize for the samajwadi party but charu pragya ultimately the buck stops with the administration and the up government and i'll give you an example when bulldozers have reached the doorstep of so many without firs without absolutely any legal uh, permissions or orders and destroyed homes what is stopping bulldozers to actually bulldoze one of uh, the many various ashrams of this bhole baba some of them on illegal illegally built that's not going to happen will it this time so priti you know uh, a big war has been called out on illegal construction in uttar pradesh and that is targeting everybody alike if ashrams are on illegal land that's an entirely different debate but here the point is and ghansham also said this if the organizers are announcing from the stage go collect the mud and that causes a stampede we should fix the responsibility on the organizers head and that is happening and like i said the probe is not over yet like i said investigation has not ended yet but the investigation is going to continue in a fair and free manner and 
and that is an assurance and it's a very solid one those who are pointing fingers at baba and ghansham ji's party leader akhilesh ji was directly asked should baba be arrested he was crass enough to ask which baba is this a matter of joking is this a matter where you crack a line like that and you think it doesn't hurt the sentiments of the families who've been affected by this stampede i don't think so you should have been clear in your answer you should have been responsible in your answer because uh, as you rightly said yes the buck stops with the government and the government is going to do everything possible to ensure the investigation concludes in a manner like sir also said which seems also fair which is also fair and justice will seem to be done but uh, i do not think that a leader of opposition of a stature of akhilesh yadav should say which baba and laugh of a matter of such okay. importance all right but the fact is the fact is charu pragya at least the bjp knows which baba they are talking about you talk about illegal constructions and bulldozers bulldozers have rolled in this country and the state of uttar pradesh without any illegality on the building so therefore when there are various buildings of the baba converted as self styled ashrams which are where the legality is in question what is stopping the uttar pradesh government to roll its bulldozers but then that's not going to happen because the man's name is not even mentioned in an sit and okay. that is where strangely the lines blur from the opposition and the government is concerned because somewhere down the line charu pragya what you said in your opening remarks is the same that i agree with ghansham tiwari if he says the organizers are the ones who said come and take the dhul of uh, the feet of this man i didn't say but that nobody is going to question the man i didn't say yes. that i said i said i i said clearly that this was announced who announced it was it uh, suraj pal who uh, mr suraj pal who announced it was it the organizers this sit does not even mention that don't don't uh, turn this all, fact yeah. uh, report into a matter of fact there are 2.5 lakh witnesses who heard that this was announced and whether the the baba announced but, it or but, whether the organizers but, i am not but, calling but, it but, out but the sad part is that 2.5 lakh victims heard but the samajwadi party didn't hear nor did the bharatiya janata party hear charu pragya see you know as uh, let me let me come back to what you are saying so the sit is listing everything as they are finding out and finding concrete proof for everything written down in ink so why don't you have a little more faith in the dispensation which has turned around the law and order situation in uttar pradesh and it's that is charu pragya i'm can... reading i'm reading the sit report i'm reading the fine print that i see and what and, i find most and... glaring in that in a multitude of findings is the main culprit's name missing that's what i'm finding vikram singh i'm going to give you the last word can can I'm i just give add you... one yes please okay. yes so you are calling him the victim who claims that he was a guest to an event yes responsibility needs to be fixed but shouldn't the organizers who are calling more people than they've taken permission for for the who's and you're announced... telling me the man in question who was presiding over this religious congregation had no clue that more people have been called to his satsang uh, vikram singh is it possible certainly not india expects faithful implementation of the rule of law and everybody is eagerly awaiting when the baba will be held accountable in the sense faithful implementation of the rule of law it is no there is no point in going round and round in circles without coming to the point the truth is so obvious it is so obvious the time has come that everybody right. should not only name the baba okay. but action should be taken against him you know the truth is obvious but sadly uh, our political parties are blind to it because uh, whichever side of the political divide in uttar pradesh that you look at all of them saying the sit should do it but they are not saying it Why? Because of political compulsions. Viewers, read the fine print in Indian politics. In this particular case, it's called Dalit.